What's up guys, just crazy here from tech for geeks and today we're taking a look at the pre-release Android 4.3 firmware for the Samsung Galaxy S4. Now this is the GTI 9505 variant, so if you have this model then you can flash this uh, using Odin. Now I've got the link in the description box below, so uh, I can just uh, download that and then uh, flash this to your uh, Samsung Galaxy S4. Alright, so I guess let's take a look at what's new on the latest firmware. Now one of the new uh, features on the latest update is if you go to the uh, display settings, now I've got the Android 4.2.2 on the right which is running on the uh, Samsung Galaxy S4 Active and as you can see reading mode has been added and basically what it does is that it optimizes the um, the best uh, like screen mode for uh, when you're reading for example. Now you can change uh, the applications as well so at the moment as you can see I've got the uh, playbooks uh, enabled in there but you can change it as I've said so for example if you want it to be enabled when you're using calculator, camera, uh, chat on and Chrome then uh, all you have to do is to uh, tick that but apart from that that's what it does. Alright so the next one that we're going to be taking a look at is if you go to your applications now you'll notice that Samsung Wallet has been added as well basically it's Samsung's uh, version of Passbook. It's what you'd find on iDevices. Now, unfortunately, at the moment, you cannot actually uh, download it, as you can see right there, because this is just a pre-release uh, firmware, but this is definitely a really handy uh, feature, so definitely um, check that out uh, once Samsung rolls out the update. Now, according to Sam, well, define the Galaxy S4 that's running Android 4.3 uh, to have a better uh, color reproduction on the display. Now, I haven't really uh, seen uh, that much difference only because I haven't really been using the Galaxy S4 as I've been using other phones. So, uh, but definitely gonna be uh, checking out some, uh, I'll be doing some testings on uh, that and I'll find a Galaxy S4 that's running Android 4.2.2 Gel because at the moment you cannot actually uh, root this uh, yet but definitely the guys at Chainfire are definitely working on that. Now opening up both uh, browsers on Android 4.2.2 and Android 4.3 uh, Jelly Bean, uh, you'll notice a quite a huge difference between the two to be honest. Now as you can see over there it opens up in full screen mode whereas on the other one you can still see the uh, status bar but you can actually change this if you don't like it in full screen mode so if you just go to uh, settings and then screen and text then all you have to do is to untick that but I really like that it's set to a default like this because it really takes advantage of the 5 inch display on the uh, Galaxy S4 now as you can see there's also a background now so uh, I find it uh, really cool not really cool but uh, it's something uh, different I guess to our eyes although um, with if you're using Windows Phone uh, if you use um, Bing then they've got a background uh, behind as well uh, we will quickly load up a website so just to see that it's fully uh, working so techfreegeeks.com and we'll quickly load that up and there we go now we'll put it in desktop view as well and see how fluid it is and as you can see it's pretty uh, fluid and it works uh, very well but it looks a lot um, cleaner as well and we'll quickly open up a new one and new tab and as you can see you have that um, effect as well uh, sort of like new transition and as you can see that's a really really nice um, addition as well but yeah definitely I really like the new browser it's really really fluid and I really like that transition that's happening um, when you open up a new uh, tab and let's go back again and as you can see all you have to do is to press that to delete it and then if you want to go back to your uh, most visited sites then you have that um, a new transition as well so definitely um, that's nice to see uh, from Samsung all right so last but not least is the Samsung Knox now it's basically a new security application this will keep your uh, important files hidden especially if you have a business for example then this is definitely a great 
um, addition to the update. Now you can get like you can download um, different applications as well uh, using the uh, Samsung uh, apps. But I'll quickly type up my uh, password so I can show you guys. And here we go. So that's what it does when you type your password in, and that'll be your uh, main uh, setup. And if you go to your uh, my files, for example, images, then uh, the guy, then you won't be able to uh, see that there. But uh, let me bring you to uh, Samsung Knox uh, applications, and these are the available uh, on the Samsung App Store. So there's quite a few. There's quite a lot, actually. Uh, and some of them are paid, some of them are free, so it's just uh, definitely uh, something, I guess, what you would need. But um, yeah, definitely great addition, um, especially if you have uh, business, as I've mentioned, and you want all your uh, files to be uh, secured. And definitely um, this is something that I guess a lot of you guys would uh, be interested as well. And this is a really big deal, I guess, uh, for Samsung and to uh, everyone. So that's really nice to see that they've added this really powerful uh, security tool on the latest update. So yeah, those are the new things on the latest firmware and you can definitely use this as your uh, daily firmware. It's really, really stable. Uh, now, as I've said, this will unroot your Galaxy S4. Uh, but as I've said, the guys at Chainfire uh, are probably already working on the um, root files that you will need uh, anyway. Now let me know what you think of this update. I know there are not a lot of changes uh, visually, so definitely let me know in the comment section below. As always, I'm Jens Gracia from Tech for Geeks and I'll see you all in the next one.